Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Back right now, yeah. Tipsy Talk, Wavy Wednesday, champagne the conversation, bank before bed. Again, don't look up for TGM rated on social media platforms. Your host, Drunkle J. And yeah, I've got a special guest, not Georgia Smith, no, but the next best thing. <laughs> We've got Sean April. Jeez! How are you feeling today, miss? I'm feeling good. Thank you for having me. Um, you and your manager have messed me up on this red wine now. <laughs> I'm on my zone. I'm waving this Wednesday. So we need midweek. <laughs> Appreciate it for coming because I know you're very busy. Um, not too busy. Oh, is it? Oh, you can come time. tomorrow as well then. <laughs> 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 so, how have you been now? How's this whole week yeah, been for you? I've been good. Just been working. Mm. Usual, you know, nine to five life. But yeah, other than that, it's been good. The I'm year's complaining. ending. Ending the year strong then? I'd like to think so. Mm, I, like I hear that. So. It's gone quite quick though. Like, I very feel like quick. a lot of things are just happening it's just like where are the days going <laughs> and it's getting dark early as well yeah exactly so let's get a backstory so whereabouts are you from then so i'm from south east london sorry keys okay sorry keys side so yeah okay what about the country your family's from um jamaica trinidad okay here. so you're good at dancing then uh i'd like to think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i'd like to think so yeah i haven't got two left feet so oh, okay then I can. <laughs> So, growing up, grew up with both parents then, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only child or brother sister? No, sisters? I've got an older sister and I've got a younger sister and younger brother. Are they both yeah. in the music industry then, or? No, they're not. But my, my older sister can sing. Mm. But she she tried to do her thing, like, over the years, but it was more like an on and off mm. kind of thing. And she had a baby and then, yeah, she kind of didn't go back after that. But oh. she's really, 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 really good. So, you don't want to take it seriously now? Yeah. Okay. But I do have quite a musical family, so I feel like it does run in the family quite a lot. When you say musical family, what else does the family want to do then? Like DJs? Um, no, like, there's a group, brothers and sisters, they're called Five Star, mm -hmm. back in, like, the 90s. Parents probably know of them. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not really around anymore doing anything, but, mm. yeah, they're my cousins. Um, I also have another cousin in the industry right now. That is the music, which I don't really say or speak about often to say like, you know, we're related and stuff, but it's more of a, if you know, you know, but yeah, Digga D as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. What? Cousins, cousins? Yeah, yeah. Dad's side. What? Your dad's and his dad are brothers are saying? Um, his mom's my auntie. So my dad and his sister. Okay. Yeah, he, she is my dad's sister. So you knew from young then? Yeah. We're cousins. Like his mom is my auntie. So could you tell that he was going to be as big um, as... You know what? I never really used to hear him do anything musically. So when he came out of it, it was quite a shock. Mm. But no, he's he's done well though. He's done very very well. So why are you asking for a feature or something then? Uh, it's kind of tricky. I feel like I feel like um, I don't know. Like we have obviously spoken and stuff, and he knows I do music as well. Mm. But I feel like it's a bit. I don't know. It shouldn't be hard with family you know collaborating and stuff but i feel like it is mm. and like getting through to them and then sorting out the whole management thing or them just like not really looking at their messages like that it's just yeah we just left you unread not necessarily unread but we don't really speak often often oh, okay so yeah i hear that that kind of vibe <laughs> <laughs> no, but no cool. i'm proud of him like I'm, I'm proud of how far he's come and stuff so mm. you know he's doing good so what's going up in sorry keys that then it's okay it's not nothing really going on it's more quiet to be honest not really too much going on. I mean, Deptford side is like close as well. So obviously you had all, you know, their kind of gangs and like <laughs> dramas and stuff. And then they kind of try and bring it to our estate. But yeah, no, I was in that. I can't really complain. I've been living there like 17 years now. Mm. Same estate. So have you seen it change over the years like in terms of like gentrification and that? Kind of, but not, not crazy. Like it's, it's a very, it's a very very quiet area mm. like obviously we used to kind of hang around and stuff like that and then as i've grown up i've started to see other groups doing what we was doing so mm. like now there's other kids it's like oh like we used to just you know chill chill by that block or whatever but other than that not too much has changed okay so when did you find out you was good at singing then <sighs> from young i've been singing like my dad always used to play music and stuff at home on the decks and then he'd give me the mic and i'd start singing and I think that's where it all kind of mostly started. But when I was 12, mm. I'd done a show at the Broadway Theatre in Catford. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I had yeah. to sing by myself in front of like, all these people. And then, yeah, after that show, I was like, yeah, no, that was sick. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> that was sick, yeah. I want to I wanna do that. I want to do that. So, yeah, I've been doing that ever since, to be honest. I've okay. been finding my way. So, are you finding the industry at that moment then? It's tricky. Why it's very, that? very, it's just like, I feel like it can be very hit, or, hit or miss sometimes. I feel like if you've got the right, I almost feel like it's down to connections. I almost feel like it's down to connections mm. and, you know, people you know and if people are going to actually support you or not. Because there's so many talented people that are not doing what they should be doing. Big facts. Or people are not recognising them for the talent that they have. Big facts. So it's, you know, it's, it's quite hard, but I feel like it's, it's been going well for me so far, so I'm grateful. So how many years active have you said that you know music then? Probably from about 16. 16? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm 25 now, so it's been a long time. It feels like forever, to be honest. Well, you look young, so I, don't, I want to know what your secret is. <laughs> it just runs in the family, to be honest. Is it? Yeah, my family look quite, my family look quite young mm. for their ages, so I think it just runs in the family. I don't really do anything specific. I ain't got no like special skincare routine. Like that, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, yeah. So what do you think is lacking from yourself to make it to the next stage then? Um, that's a hard question, you know, to answer my, if it's lacking from myself. Because I see you're talented, but again, I think UK R&B is not really appreciated as much. Yeah, it's not. I think that's especially why as well. Mm. I mean, even like my last release was Garage. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. I've never done Garage music before. I've always loved it. I've grown up listening to it whatnot, but I've never tried mm. to get on that kind of vibe. Love garage. Yeah, same. And I feel like that's worked really well for me so far. I'm I'm still like the R and B, like that's that's what I'd say I do. Mm. Um, but I think trying the the garage is like it's been doing well so far. Mm. Um so yeah, I feel like it's just one of them things I feel like especially now this day and age, you really gotta just try everything. You know, oh, because yeah. in the UK the R and B is it doesn't always, you know, it, it depends. I feel like it's more more American that and American people that have that proper on it and supportive about it. Mm. I feel like you have to, I don't know, just maybe look a certain way or have a certain vibe about you or, you know, a particular talent to do the whole R and B thing over here. It's just, it's not, it's not rated enough. Mm. It's quite sad. So you do any type of something like you do like a rock song or oh, no, country no, song? No, not rock song. <laughs> rock song. Why not? I mean, I'd be open to trying it, but I can't imagine myself doing that. That's my song right now. That yeah. remember that Alan Levine song? She was a scared boy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. my song oh, right yeah, now, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I do love that song, but I can't. I don't know. I don't know how my sound would fit on that, but I'd mm. be open to trying it. I hear open that. I hear that. It, definitely. So, have you always been solo? Or have you done like a group before? Yeah, I've done group stuff before. When I was about what was that? About 15, 16, I was in a group of two boys. They were they were like rapping and stuff. Um, we tried that. So you like end dubs? Yeah, kind of end dubs. <laughs> <laughs> kind of end dub vibes. Um, what happened then? It just didn't, I don't know. It just didn't get anywhere. It was just, obviously, you know, we do our little videos and stuff and do our little performances, but I didn't really, it didn't really take off like we thought it was going to. But still, it was it was a good experience. Are they still doing music now then? Or? One of, actually, no, they're both are. One's a producer and one's rapping as well now, so. Okay. So yeah, but I don't really speak to them often, to be fair. Mm. But, um, but you yeah, know, it was a good experience. Do you ever do a group again then? Or? I don't think I would. I do prefer solo. I've also been in a girl group. Um, we had like management and stuff and, you know, tried to start up that whole thing. But well, how many girls? Three other girls. So there was four of us. Hey, egos. To stay. Yeah, it was kind of like a Destiny's Child by plus one. Because obviously they were, well, they started off with four actually, didn't they? Oh, okay. Yeah. Destiny Child. So who was you, yeah. Michelle, the group for? <laughs> I'm just curious, isn't it? I don't know, I was just <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to get me blasted. Ain't nothing wrong with Michelle, I actually gone gospel yeah, no. in a room show. Nothing wrong with Michelle too, I like all of them, but I wouldn't really say I was in any particular. Okay, <laughs> so growing up, who would you listen to then, right? Uh, Aaliyah. Okay. Um, who else was there? Mariah Carey, Beyonce. Mm. Yeah, Mariah Carey was... Big in my house, especially my sister, because she was playing like crazy. Is it, yeah. Had her CDs, everything. So, yeah, I'd say those were the main, and Whitney Houston, those were the main, like the proper singer singers. Mm. Um, I'm into like 90s R&B as well, but those are the main singers that I'd sit and listen to like day in, day out. 
Okay, so apart from yourself, who else are you feeling in the music industry? Currently. Mm-hmm. Um, big vibes or big vibes are coming from Kalani Janae. Okay then. Kiana Lede. Okay. Then people, but I'd say over here, Georgia Smith. Mm. Nadia Rose. Um, I can't even think now. Like you put me on the spot. There's quite, <laughs> quite, a, quite a lot of people that I'm very big fans of mm. over here as well. You've done like a drill song before? No, I haven't. But we're thinking to try a drill song. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and drill. Oh, and drill. Like that, yeah. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> hey. yeah, we are thinking to try that. Mm. I think it could work. Why not? I think it could work. Yeah, I think it could work. That's what I'm saying. I'm open to trying, you know, different genres and stuff. So, mm. now the reason why I asked because again, <coughs> the F Boy tune, yeah, mm. when I put it on my story, a lot of people liked it, isn't it? Yeah. And then they said to me, like, what else have you got? And I said, There's nothing else. I can't oh, see nothing else. Yeah. So, what happened in that? What well, that tune? What happened? Um, I kind of took a break from music. I kind of just lost, I wouldn't say I lost the love for it. I've always had love for music, but I kind of just like, I got like, I was getting like certain opportunities and stuff like that and then they just fall through and you just kind of lose hope because things you feel like things are getting there and then they don't mm. so and i was really young as well i was probably what like 18 back then 18 19 so i feel like a lot kind of made me feel like oh this ain't working mm. like, i just i kind of love yeah i lost a bit of hope a bit of faith so i stopped doing the whole music thing and that's why it's been so long since i've put an actual like proper music video like that out were you going through like any mental illness at that stage or anything like that? Any depression? Going what? No, 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 not even. I just, okay. I think it was just like, just going 10 steps, 10 steps forward and feeling like you're going 10 steps back at the same time. Like like I said, of opportunities and stuff, working with people and then just things not happening. I just like, I feel like I kind of got tired of it. Hmm. Do you regret it though? Because say if you kept on going, you could have been at a certain space right Very now true but i don't regret it i feel like i needed that time away from it to be like no what am i doing like it got to the stage i was like what am i doing why am i stopping this like i love doing this mm. why am i i feel like a lot of artists have that break or that time away where they're just like yeah just need to figure out what i'm doing mm. so no i don't regret it in terms of that not at all so any shows anything lined up then or anything like uh, that not at the moment okay. but hopefully next year um i'm just working on music at the moment to put out and Future projects like R and B project we're gonna do next year. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. So you got a single out? Yeah, I got a single out. Where, how did that come about? Um, so my management introduced me to producers called Ill Blue, mm. and then they sent sent us some like garage tracks and stuff. And he's like, yeah, this, this is this is hard. So we tried doing that. Like I said, I haven't done garage before, so it was, it was new for me. It was the first time. Mm. So yeah, we done that, and then <laughs> that was that. Really, <laughs> it's done well since. So that's what's nice. What's the reception saying? It's been really, really good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, really, really, really good. Like we, we wasn't because, like I said, I haven't done garage before, so we wasn't sure. Mm. And garage isn't really about that much these days. I feel like some artists are coming out and doing it now. Like Lost Girl, for example, she's like on the garage vibe. Mm. I feel like some people are like bringing it back. So it was quite. Mm, like we'll see how this goes, but it's been good. No, I can make one girl. Yeah. Look at them girls that made. Was I bring you flowers? They're good yeah, for time. I know they're set. It's set for life. They're set. Eight, like, every year, it is kind of it's overwhelming bringing something back that hasn't been around for so long, or that artists. It's always going to be there, but that artists haven't brought back mm. in like you know twenty twenty one. What Christmas song? We was actually thinking because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking Mariah Carey. That's why every year she just I know. loves at Christmas time, isn't it? She just she comes out that box and she's like, yeah, it's my time. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's my time. No, no, it's it's good to be honest because you're pretty much set for life. Big facts. I mean, like, if it if it does well, you're set. Mm. You don't need to make music no more. All you need is that one song. To <laughs> so Black Friday's coming up. What are you buying? No idea. Nothing at all. No idea. No idea whatsoever. I'm always the Late shopper. Oh, what, last minute? Friday. Yeah. Okay. All the time. Like, I'll forget that it's happened, that certain sites are doing it, or I just won't be on my phone at the time. And by the time I do remember and I realize and I look, everything's gone. Mm. All the things that I've been to are gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's so annoying. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Is there a special gift that you want for Christmas? Um, 
Not really, no. You don't want nothing until for Christmas? There's not nothing in particular I want for Christmas, I don't think. Just yet. Not a Bitcoin or... No. Nothing at all? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm just like, curious, I'm just curious. What about acting? You ever thought in acting? I have, you know. Um, I thought I've, I'm not... I wouldn't really say I'd do like big, big you know, movies and stuff, but I feel like things like Top Boy and stuff, I wouldn't mind doing. You do Top Boy? Yeah, I would. Because oh. I feel like things that are in shows like that, mm. I wouldn't say I've necessarily experienced, but I've been around. So I feel like it would be more easier for me to play the role or, you know, kind of be in that. You say you're going to be the hood girl? No, I'm, I've never been a hood girl. <laughs> Not necessarily a hood girl. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. But I've never, no, I've never been a hood girl. But I just mean like, just, you know, on the block and in the estate, you know, just things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Like I've, you know, I've grown up kind of, you know, doing them kind of things. So, so what's your UK film then? Because my, I think Kiddo is number one, number one, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? that that's, I was, yeah. That's, oh, that's your number yeah, one as well? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, always. No, because I watched Blue Story the other day, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Blue Story is good as well. Some Netflix, by the way, yeah. everyone's watched it. So about TV, what TV shows are you watching at the moment then? I don't even watch TV. You don't watch TV at all? Used to be on EastEnders, but I can't even tell you the last thing that happened on that. No, I can't watch EastEnders. Anymore. Yeah, I, I don't even know. But I don't really watch TV. You know, I'm on YouTube and stuff. I just YouTube. Okay. No, actually TikTok. Okay. I'm on TikTok. Oh I yeah, was... so your video as well got 25k. Yeah. Were you surprised by that or? Um, I was actually, but I heard that your first videos do well anyway. Oh, is it? To, I don't know. To push TikTok, it out. It? Yeah. So I was like, okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but no, it, it's still it's still done well it's still yeah it still had a good reception considering it was my first video and it was just like a little you know minor vibe in mm. the bedroom i wasn't actually going to put it on tiktok it was just for like an instagram thing but i thought no let me just put it on tiktok but i haven't made any content since but i need to get on it so are you big on social media then um i wouldn't really say i'm big on social media i feel like I've, my audience has definitely grown over the years mm. um i feel like people not in the most humble way ever I feel like people do know of my name or mm. probably seen my name around quite a lot on social media, like Instagram. Because before I used to do like a lot of covers and stuff and that was my thing. Like I do like mashups, covers and stuff on Instagram. Um, I'd say that's where it started on there, like mm. in terms of content and music and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, I'd I hear say that. That, that. That's it really. I wouldn't really say I'm big yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. What advice would you give someone that's jumping into the music scene, like a female? Um, just do what makes you happy man just mm. just be you like don't try and copy other people don't be disheartened if things you know don't go your way or turn out how you want it to I feel like that's something that I've had to learn along the way like quite a lot I'm easily disheartened by things but uh, not anymore actually but I used to be easily disheartened by things like if things wouldn't turn out hard one or how I expect, I'll be like, oh, maybe it's not for me. Like, I'll just jump to that thought, maybe it's not for me, maybe it's not for me, but sometimes it's just something better's coming. So do you like, do the comments and views matter to you then? Yeah, they do, because I do like to know what people are thinking or feeling about what I'm putting out. Mm. I feel like it's good to always, I, I can I almost see it as feedback. Okay. So like when I do post, like sing anything musically or whatever, I'm, you know, I get comments and whatever, I'm like, okay, yeah. This one, people are feeling it. So, how do you react to the bad comments then? Oh, I don't really take any much. Oh, is it? Oh, I just, kidding. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I just delete it. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I hear I that. Just, I just not not necessarily because it's bothering me, but I just I don't want to. I don't want to see it. So I'll just delete it. Mm. Like I'm not even gonna respond back to you. I'll just delete it. So, do you feel the type of way where like one of your friends they'll like share like a Miss Bank song, but when it comes to your music, they won't share it? Um, it depends, you know. It, it it depends because I have friends that I'm really close with and I have friends that I'm not. Mm. I feel like the friends that I'm really close with, maybe, yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay. But, but that's what I'm saying. Things like this, I, I don't take, I don't take too heavy. You know, it just, it is what it is. People are going to post what they want to post. If you're not supportive, then you're not supportive. I'm not going to run you down the bite. Do mm. you know what I mean? Like, I know what I'm trying to do with myself. If you're not supportive, I'll just, I'm, it's not going to make any difference. I'm still going to do what I'm doing. Do you mm. know what I mean? So that, in terms of that, doesn't really fuss me too much. I'll be aware of it, but it's not gonna, you know, have me arguing with you and stuff. Is what's the point? Mm. What's the point? No, I'm just but, curious. I'm just yeah, asking I'm it just, because some not, people take it to heart. That's why, yeah, isn't it? yeah. I'm not. I'm not about this drama life. I'm really not. Oh, it's stress free. It's stress free. So, what stresses you out then? Like, what's the pet peeve for you then? 
Um, pet peeve, what stresses me out? I don't know, you know. I can't even think right now what stresses me out. Like, no slow walkers or people that... Oh, yeah, things like that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Slow walkers, yeah. So, yeah, I think that has to be number one, to be honest. Slow walkers? Yeah. That has to be number one for me, I think. It's my top five or not number one for me? No, I think, because I, I feel like, well, people say that I walk slow, but I feel like I'm... Is it? <laughs> so you are the slow walker? No, but maybe because I'm small, I feel like I'm power walking, but I, I might even get anywhere. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Little feet. Yeah. So I feel like, if, to me, I'm like sweating and everything, like I'm probably zooming down the road, but I don't think I'm even looking like I'm getting anywhere, so... But yeah, slow walkers in front of me. So. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. So what relaxes you then? Just being in my own company. Mm. No noise, chilling, calm music. I think, yeah, just being in my own company, that's that's what relaxes me the most, to be honest. Because I don't smoke and stuff like that, so. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't, you know. Get but she drinks though, like, guys, she drinks. <laughs> I don't even drink heavy. You don't drink? Either. I don't drink heavy, but I don't really, yeah. I have to be in the mood for that. Okay. Just an occasion. Okay. But other than that, yeah, I'm not a big drinker. I'm not, I don't smoke. Never tried weed or anything like that. Never. Been for South London, never tried weed. What like balloons? Never. Yeah. Okay. Never. Done like um. What do you call it? Edible. Edibles. Is it? But that's, that's brownie. Like, haven't done brownie. You know. So Sweets. Edibles. Okay. Yeah, but I haven't done. That. I had the brownie ones. Can be mad. So the sweet did they hit you though? Yeah, but with them, it just makes me feel very relaxed. Okay. Like, like I'm just, I don't know, I'm just so chill, like I'm just, I'm just chill. Mm. I'm just sitting there just like, kind of out of it. A mute. But yeah, kind oh, of thing. Okay. It doesn't do nothing crazy to me. Um, but yeah, that's all, you know. So what kind of films are you like? You say you don't watch TV, but you must watch films. Oh, I love horror films. Horror films? Oh. <laughs> You're one of them girls. Oh. I love horror films. I can sit there and watch it all night. Wait, what type of horror? Like the supernatural ones? Like, all horrors. Like the house is haunted, but they won't move house. All of them. And try to fight the ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't know why do they do oh, that. Yeah, who, they'll hear that. It's, it's that ghost. Noise There's noise upstairs. You can go see what the noise yeah, is. They'll still want to buy the house and stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I love, I love that kind of stuff. Did you watch Squid Games? I haven't watched it. Did you watch Squid Games? Yeah, I haven't watched it. So I'm, I'm so late to things. Like I've, I know I've been meaning to watch it, but I just I kind of can't be bothered, if that makes sense. So what's the last good film you watched then? Um, it was actually Harriet. Harriet, Harriet. Harriet. The Slave. That's not a horror film. Actually, that's oh, traumatizing. No. Oh, I thought you meant in general. Oh, oh, so <laughs> I you meant in general. No, I can't um, watch films like that. Stay films, I can't I'll stop watching them. Yeah, no, sad. Yeah, I can't watch it. I just can't. But, it's, but it's interesting because I, I learned from them as well. Like things that obviously you learn in history and stuff about them. But it's quite, it's just like to be like, wow, this, these things actually happen. No, because I'm curious. You know I mean? like, like, but yeah, no, of course, 100%. But it's, it's too much. It's a trigger for me. That's yeah, why. Yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. No, I get what you mean. Yeah, no, definitely. I definitely cried at that. <laughs> But the horror films, only like the ones where I like Jason, the next guy. Have the, seen the horror, must see Jason, Jason film. Probably, yeah. He doesn't talk. He just like yeah, but he's yeah, witnessing yeah, water yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I like the horror films where like scream like Who Done It? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just hate so, the like funny kind of ones. Yeah, to like, a certain extent. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're not gonna be scared to go to sleep. <laughs> I'll be scared to go to sleep a few times. I, don't want to let you. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do horror films. I just can't do it. Really? Especially the jumpy ones. No, I love it. My family think people just think I'm mad. I yeah, you're, I, I think it's, it. it's weird what fine girls do that oh, and watch the what's it them documentaries and them true crime films like yeah, NCIS yeah. and all that rubbish there as well. You like that as well? Love it. What? Why? Who are you trying to kill? No one. I just I don't know. I'm I'm very I'm a thrill seeker. Okay. Big big thrill seeker. So would you star in like a film like that or act in one of the films that? Um, I'd be scared though. I'm not gonna have to act in it. <laughs> I ain't gonna bring nothing home. You know, like, you never know. You know, them ones there. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know about acting in it, but I feel like acting in it would freak me out more because it's feel more real. What about the torture ones, like oh, Hostel? Hostel? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> that one messed me up, Hostel. He's trying to save the Chinese girl and she ends up committing suicide. Yeah, yeah, no. Ugh, I love it, you know. And like, even though it's, this one's nasty, but Human Centipede. What is that about? Have you seen it? No. The Human Centipede when, like, this guy basically gets, um, I think he's like a doctor or something, but he gets people, he gets people and like glues their mouth to the back of each other. So they're, they're like oh. a human centipede. So we see every time they're, you know, doing their business, it's going to the next person and it's just torture. Oh, no. But yeah. What kids stuff? What Disney things? You like any Disney things this? Yeah. Aladdin, Lion King. Yeah, I like all that, yeah. You sure, yeah? Movies, yeah. I get a bit worried, yeah. that's why, you know. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm stop it, bro. With that. But no, yeah, I love it. Stuff, man. Okay, you're from Trinidad and Jamaican. Can you cook those food then? Like roti and that. I haven't tried cooking them. You know. Seriously. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm a good cook, but I haven't tried cooking like proper home stuff like that. So there's beans on toast. No. I'm just curious. I like yeah, I love beans on toast, but no, not not. I haven't tried like roti and that like, raw cooking them. Um, I've done like dumplings and stuff like that. But there's some where I just, yeah, I haven't actually thought to try and cook. Okay. If that makes sense. So I was curious. But, curious. But yeah, no, I love cooking. I love cooking. Mm, okay, okay. I, I do want to experiment more, though, with my, my home food. Were well, you cooking or tasting food? No, cooking it. Okay. I feel like I just haven't made the time to try. Mm. But now that we've spoken about it, maybe, maybe well, sometime. Well, like tasting <laughs> food, are you experimenting with that? Yeah. Like you can eat like monkey meat and stuff like that. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I can't. You know, and chicken foot and all. No, I can't. You know, <laughs> it's just like no, I can't do chicken foot. It's just no. No, the reason why I ask because as you know, you know, I'm celebrity. Get me out of here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Like if you was on there, could you? you go it. So we, me and the manager, will starve because you don't try the food. But that's the. This, this is the reason why I wouldn't go on things like that because that things like that make me feel bad because I'm going home now and you don't eating. Because I didn't do the task, that would probably take a couple seconds. It depends what it is, though. Some things I feel like I could just firm it, but well, like kangaroo is. Yeah, things like that. I feel like I could firm it, but when it's all the genital area of animals. Hmm. How about you, insects? Like with all the beetles and that on top of you, now. Oh, yeah, no. You can do it. I'm so again, the meat manager will starve because you couldn't do it. I'm disintegrating in that in that that box. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no. Way. I can't do insects in background stuff. Is it? I'm not big on pets Spiders. then. Spiders. Yeah, I love I love animals. I love animals, but creatures like that, small, run quickly, or yeah, I can't. You miss you from south. There's rats everywhere. Yeah, no, not in my house. Though, ain't <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> not in my house. So you've never been to someone's house and it's just dirty and just like just chilled there because you have to because it's your friends or. I haven't. Yeah, I can't lie. My friends are very clean. All of them. Yeah. You get one dirty friend. No. There's always one dirty friend no, in the group. I actually don't have any dirty friends, you know. Okay. I actually don't think of it. Back no, in class, there was always one smelly kid, didn't it? Yeah, there was. No. You got called a smelly kid? No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. But, but yeah, there was always someone. What about sports? Were you good at sports in school then? Or? Uh, I actually used to play football. You know? Is it? Yeah. I used to play football. I used to, um, well, in primary school, we done like little tournaments and stuff. Yeah. And the boys always used to pick me, well, me and some other girl that was quite good at it. And we were quite fast runners as well. Um, yeah, they'd always pick us to be on the team, and we actually came second. I've got the tournament, the little trophy thing at home. What position did you play? Midfield. Okay. Yeah. I haven't done football since. I don't know. I feel like I've probably lost my touch. I'm so you're a tomboy then, basically? Not really, you know. Not really, but the days that I'd wear my trainers, I'd be playing football. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be playing football, you know. Okay. I scored a mad goal one time as well. Wow. Basketball kick. Mm? Basketball kick. Mm. Is it? Did you mean to do it or was this accident? Do you know what? I didn't mean to do it, you know? <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean yeah, to do yeah. it. I just, I didn't even see it go in and everyone was just jumping on my head and stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah. But that, that day was mad. I was like, I've done it, I've done it. I'm going to But that wasn't even a tournament. We just play, you know, at lunchtime, you just play and stuff. But they, you know, everyone takes it seriously. So the girls are dancing, doing dance routines. You just playing football with the men. Yeah. Okay. And then I do the dance, dance routine thing as well. But there'll be times I'll be doing the football. Do you have any fights in school? Be no, honest. No, no, never. I don't, I've never had a fight in my life. That's good. Be lady like. Never, ever, ever had a fight. What about come down with me? Do you know that? Yeah. You could do that? I would do that, you know. I would actually love to do something like that. Well, eat at someone else's house, even though I don't know how they prepare the food. Okay, when you put it like that. No, I'm just curious. No, no, I'm, no, <laughs> no, you when you, no, when you put it like that, it's, you know, I have a thing about just eating at just anyone's house, you know. Elaborate. Yeah. Like, do you have to look at their kitchen? Yeah, or like, even simple things of like, if people wash their fruit or not. Mm. Like I have to wash fruit, certain fruits, always like strawberries, blueberries, things like that. I can't just be eating out of the packet. But people just be placing it on the plate and just I can't. Big facts. Yeah, I can't be doing that. Or like if people are actually washing their, or I don't know, man. Each to their own. But some people when they're washing up, they don't rinse it. Mm. They just wash it and they put it to the side. The soap's just running down like <laughs> you're basically soaking off the dirt that you've been using on the sponge to wash everything, and it's just. You just, it's, do you know what I mean? Your OCD? A little bit of things like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but things like that. Um, so can you eat at like, any restaurant then, or you can't? Uh, do you 
not it's i'm very like it just depends like if if i went to a restaurant and there was a hair in my food i'll be like oh but i'll still eat it yeah I never, I, never complain. yeah I never complain yeah i'll still eat it though but you know some people are like no hair in my food not eating it and i'll take it back has happened to you I, i'll complain yeah it has actually where um i can't even remember what restaurant it was i was young though i was with family i can't even remember what restaurant it was I cannot remember. It wasn't no big hair, but it was still, you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm still, I, you know, some people are like, no, I'm not eating that. But I'll still eat it. Mm. There's just, yeah, there's certain things I won't, when it comes to my food, there's certain things that won't put me off. But when it comes to eating at certain people's houses and how they wash things and, you know, if it's actually clean and, you know, where they're getting it, even if, like, I use a cup and it smells funny. <laughs> so I'm going to drink out of it. That's a bit like, what? See, for me, when I go to a girl's house, like, I always look inside the microwave and the kettle. Mm. That's it, innit? That's all right, then I'm harming it. The kettle. The kettle and the microwave. That's uh, the number two thing, innit? Because you can wear nice trainers outside, you're not fooling me, innit? Yeah. I need to go inside your house to get the kettle and the microwave. <laughs> That's just me. That's what I do, innit? No, it's true. It's true. Very true. One time that this girl's kettle, yeah, it was mad. Mad. I and I wanted a hot chocolate. That's how bad it was, innit? <laughs> I, wanted, I really generally wanted a hot chocolate, innit? So I looked inside mm. the kettle first, yeah. Hey. And I just what started. Was it, what was he looking like in there? Then? It was just all brown mold oh. in the end of the air. I'm feeling like, ugh. And I looked inside the microwave. The microwave was wrapped, and I obviously started investigating the oven. Mm. Oh yeah, oven. Yeah, the oven as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining it. Yeah. But let's get into the game. The game is called <coughs> You Decide. Basically, there's some names in the hat. Mm. So what you do, you take a sip. Yeah. Take a name. Yeah. Take another sip. Take a name, and choose which one's better, isn't it? Okay. This is singers, isn't it? So mm-hmm. yeah, you decide, isn't it? Okay. I need to get my drink then. Yeah, drink up, Miss Tipsy Talk, Wave Wednesday, Champagne the Conversation. She's messing up the rose now. Glass is on. The vodka? Are oh, you in the vodka yeah. now? Yeah, I'm in the rose. This rose I, is I like, messing me up. I like vodka actually. Is it? Wait, am I? Oh, I'll just drink this one. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's my drink, man. <laughs> Tipsy Talk, Wavy Wednesday, Champagne, The Conversation, Michonne, April, and what's the first one then? Oh. So I sit first. Yeah, tip I... seven. Sit first, you take a tip. Take a name, take another sip, take the other name, and then you decide which one's better. Okay. So you've got? Rihanna. Rihanna, take another sip, and then take another name. And what's that one? Leo. You have to decide which one's better. Leo. A Leo Rihanna. <laughs> I love Rihanna. I love her getting wrong. Like, if I saw her on the street, I'm definitely fangirling, but Aaliyah's just a Leo, isn't it? Like, there's never going to be another Rihanna, obviously, but there's never going to be another Aaliyah. Mm. She's just like... She she's just, she yeah, she's just see. different. Like, she was just... She was different. Even in that time, she was just different for that time. Do you know what I mean? Mm. She's just, yeah, man. They say if Aaliyah was alive, Beyonce wouldn't be as big. That's what they say, isn't it? That's what they say. We don't know it because they, but that's what they're saying. It <clears throat> makes sense. I mean, till this day, people are still paying tributes to her. Big things. facts. Like she's still on screens in like New York, and do you know what I mean? That's that's crazy. Mm, big facts. Like so many artists have passed away, but they're they're not getting that sort of you know legacy. Yeah. So like, we got a Leo. Put that to a side. Take another sip. Take two other names. Oh, I should have mixed this. You know. <laughs> <laughs> So part of the speed now, Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Mm. Alicia Keys. Hey. That's a hard one. Very hard one. Oh, that's a very hard one. I'm very hard one. I'm a fan of both of them, but get aside. Oh man, that's a hard one. I'm gonna have to say Beyonce. Is it? What's the reason why? I just love Beyonce. Is it? Yeah. I just she just oh, I don't know. I can't really explain it. Beyonce just Beyonce. You still own. You still own. Oh, but then oh. <laughs> no, but Alicia Keys. Oh no, that's hard. You know, I'll go for Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys, yeah? I'll go for Alicia Keys. Oh, that's always Alicia Keys as well. I'll go for Alicia Keys. Okay. Yeah. Put to the side. Carry on. Take... My chest is burning. <laughs> I 
Mariah Carey. Okay. Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. They're both so different, though. Mm hmm. Janet Jackson. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Mariah. Mariah with Janet, Janet, yeah? Janet is a legend. She's an absolute legend, but both legends basically. Yeah, they both are. But Mariah, you Mariah, Mariah yeah. I, I grew up I grew up with Mariah, you know, like more. So yeah, I'd say Mariah Perry. Check mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say actually I listen to more Mariah than I did Janet. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, put that to the side. Legend, Take two others. I've got a sip. If you don't want to, you don't. I'm going to slow down a bit. <laughs> um, Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you can't do this, man. you got? Adele. <laughs> hey! Whitney Houston. Oh, Whitney Houston. You know, Whitney Houston. That shouldn't even be hard to be honest. Whitney Houston. Okay, Houston. no, no. See, you, you decide. But I love Adele. Yeah, Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston, yeah. Okay. Legend. Put it to the side. Take two others. Mary J. Blige. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing to me? Mary J. Blige. For who? Myself, Sean Ake. <laughs> you choose, isn't it? You choose this. Do you know what? I'm gonna, in the most humble way, I'm gonna say it myself. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, you're number. Gonna... That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Finally, someone chooses themselves. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say myself. Uh -huh. You gonna say yeah, why? I believe, I believe in myself. Um, I don't, have, I don't, I don't, I don't have a particular reason, but. I believe in myself, isn't it? Can't even say if you don't believe, believe in yourself, you will still. I believe in my own source. Mary J. Blige is, you know, she's done her thing. Now it's my turn. <laughs> you best hope Mary don't see this interview. You might say, you want to chat with me? No, you show yourself over me. <laughs> oh, Mary's a legend. Well, Big man. facts. That's the queen, mum. She's going to choose. That's my queen. Just like, just forget Elizabeth. In. That's my queen. You're just belting. That's my queen. Just belting the tune, yeah. And I think there's one more left. One, two, three. Yeah. I think so. No, there's none. There's none left, yeah? That's it. Okay. That's it. Never mind. I just want to miss how did you cope during the whole lockdown situation then? It was actually nice for me, you know. Is it? Yeah. You weren't stressed out enough like that, no? No, I wasn't. I had time off work, no, it was nice. Okay. It was very, very nice. Didn't really do much. I'm I I'm a very stay at home, own company, chill out person, so it didn't bother me. Mm. I feel like it probably more bothered people that are just always out and about, needed to be around other people, but for me it was fine. You didn't, vaccinated? didn't really Am I vaccinated? Yeah. No, nothing wrong. If you are, you are. If you are, you are. You're going to travel, wouldn't it? I'm not. Vaccinated, oh, is it? But I am thinking about it. You're thinking about it? Yeah. I'm thinking about it as well. Thinking about it. I've been 50 50 for so long. But what's your reason, though? Um, I just think this whole vaccine thing is just, it's just crazy how to just come up with this so quickly, mm. just out of thin air. And it's meant to be giving you. Obviously, when you have the vaccine, it gives you a small dose of COVID, so your you know your body gets immune to it and whatnot. But it's like, so it must be man-made then. Well, I would have done. If you're it. giving it to us mm. for our body to get used to it, do you know what I mean? You know something. Mm. Something. Ain't clicking. <laughs> well, I would have done you. Sir. I would have put the vaccine inside the chicken. Mm. Then we use chicken, isn't it? That's what I would have done personally, isn't it? Yeah. But. You still on, but now I just want to travel in it. Like, I'm just yeah, heading in it. That's, that's why I'm more thinking about it now because I feel like there will be more opportunities to travel and stuff, especially like the whole music stuff. Mm. I don't want to be like limited, yeah, restricted, so yeah, to those kind of things. So, oh, any of your family members vaccinated? My dad is. Oh, is I it? don't know about anyone else in my family. My mum's like, no, I'm not doing that. She, at first, she was like, Yeah, I might get it. I was like, Mum, don't, mum, because you know, the whole blood clotting thing as well. Mm. Like, my mum ain't got that much blood in her anyway, so. Have they pressured you, like, well, they text you all the time? Get the vaccine? They used, they used to. Oh, is but it? not as much anymore, you know. Okay. Not as much anymore. Not really getting the text anymore, to be honest. But, yeah, I feel like 
I feel like it's just people's choice, isn't it? Like, I know it's the whole thing of protecting others around you and whatnot, but the fact that you can get the vaccine and still catch COVID. I mean, that for me, it's just like, they want to jack you again a third time. Yeah. They abuse me. <laughs> they abuse well. you up. That as well. But it's meant to be, like, people just, like, if you're not, like, it's just this whole thing between vaccinated people and unvaccinated people. Like, mm. you can both still get it. Do you know what I mean? Even if you're vaccinated, you can still catch it. I've known, I've known. Well, my my family knows someone that um, obviously was an older lady, but she got all three vaccines and she still passed away. I was excited to hear. It. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know her personally, but my family knew her. But yeah, she still. Do you know what I mean? It's just, mm. it's, it's crazy, man. It's just like, what really is the truth here? Is it actually protecting us or not? Mm. So you said about working at just What's the worst job you've had? Probably in some clothes stores, like babies' clothes. Oh, is it? But it was, um, I think it was French clothing. Okay. Like French. Was it French or Spanish? I can't remember one of the two. But number one, I don't speak it. I don't understand it. So there's always that customers coming and saying, "Oh, you know." And we had to learn that we had to know what um, material it was made from. You know, all that kind of oh, silk backstory. And like, yeah, and like. Oh, it's just long, man. I hated it. Is it? I hated it. There's one day where I just I didn't come back. Is it? I used to. I, I can't lie. I used to be bad at my jobs back in the day. Like, just I'd no show. I'll just leave and just. <laughs> I just won't return. It's really bad, but yeah, man. So apart from that, you know, you had any bad jobs as well, or that was the worst one? I think that was the worst one. A lot of my past experiences, like waitressing jobs and stuff. I've, oh, had, okay. I've had a few. Where I was just like, mm, not really a fan of working here, but it was all right. Mm. Like, if there was no other choice in the world, I had to do waitress knowledge, I would do it. Mm. But if I had a choice, I would Doing do waitress, did you ever experience someone's card declining? Yeah, many people. Is it? Yeah. Hey. Many people. It was very awkward. Um, but in that situation, it's not, <laughs> it's not, that's not my business. Is there any situation where they just had no money like this, couldn't pay for it? No. Oh, okay then. Thank God. Because something like that would not to do. People who do. Like, Which this is, isn't it? I, I can't necessarily give it to you for free. So, but then this whole it's a whole drama of getting like the manager and yeah. From then, that's not really my, you know, I don't deal with that stuff. So, Have you yeah. experienced someone like Dan and Dash before? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I always I want to do that, you know. Yeah. I actually have. And I actually had to run after them. You chased them. Yeah. Because they was on the my tab, so I knew that. Whoa, they... whoa let's get back to it. What black people? <laughs> no, they was actually. Or foreign or something like that. Was it like a big family then or it was a few people, it was a group, yeah, it was a few people. Um it was actually women as well, like older women. <laughs> yeah. It was actually older women. I mean, I don't know, maybe they I don't know. Can you forget to pay like that? I don't know, but yeah, they just I was like, Can you get my table? My table's gone. Like you know it was obviously every um every waitress has their table that they're dealing with. Yeah. And I realized I was thinking, I have to look back at all the tables and see have they paid and they didn't pay. I was like, oh my god, but they're gone. So I started panicking. I'm asking around everyone, like all the other stuff. Oh, did they? They did you do it under them? Um, did they pay under your your table? Sorry, what not? What not? I was like, no, 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 I haven't seen them. No one's been sitting there for like 15 minutes. I was like, what? I had to chase after them. You actually them. ran out of stock. Yeah, I ran out. Of did stock. you catch them? Yeah, I did. You know? Did they pay? Yeah, they paid. Okay. I was like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, you didn't pay. I don't know. Maybe they pretended, but they was like, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, we thought we paid. Never mind. Mm. I'm not trying to get in trouble for that kind of stuff. And as well, I was kind of new as well, so okay. it makes it ten times worse. You know I mean, I was trying to be my A game, so mm. ended up leaving there anyway. <laughs> so about but holidays, yeah. my. Where do you want to go next then? I want to go to America. Is it? Never been before. Yeah, I've been to Florida, but I want to do like okay. LA and then places there. You're Miami then, yeah? Yeah. What's Miami, Miami like? Yeah. No, I haven't been in Miami. Oh, I you're want to go. Oh, yeah, I went to Florida. Oh, okay. But not Miami or anything like that. Yeah, just Florida. That was good. That was really nice. They're so friendly over there. Mm. Well, in Florida. So, so at New Year's, any plans yet for New Year's? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Probably see you when that time comes, to be fair. Mm. Yeah, no so yet. any mixtape or EP coming out then? Or? Um, yeah, we're looking to do the whole EP thing with, I think, my R&B project. Okay. Right now we're just doing singles, releasing singles. Um, yeah, the EP will be the R&B project, but I've got songs there to put on there, but we just want to, I want to keep making more songs so I can select, you know, have a choice and stuff. I've got songs to put on there. As an independent artist, what would you say is the most stressful thing is then? Um, as an independent artist, I don't know, 
know, I feel like I feel like I've actually had it quite easy. Okay, is it? Yeah. No bad experience, nothing like that. Not yet. <laughs> As a female, do you ever get like messages from guys they they pretend that they want something from you, music related? But oh yeah. Don't, is it? Yeah, hundred percent. But how do you suss that out? Though? All the time. It's just how they start talking to you after, like if you've had the conversation about the music thing now. Mm. You know, some people just be like, all right, cool, yeah, like I'll send you the track, you can hear it, whatever, I'll see what you want to do in it. And then that's that, they leave it at that. When they're like, oh, so where are you from? Oh, so this and this. Oh, it's just, oh, I don't know why you really message me. It's oh, okay. nothing to do with music. Now, the reason why I say that, because again, a lot of girls do fall for that trap, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why I just want you to just, like, explain to them how yeah. to suss that out, isn't it? Yeah, I think just see, I mean, don't get me wrong, some people are just friendly and they, they still just want to, you know, if they're going to end up making music with you, then they want to stay in contact and maybe build a friendship. But, I feel like as a female, you just know. Mm. You really do just know if they're trying to talk to you in that way. Do you prefer to collaborate more, females and male then, or? I don't mind you. Any, yeah. I don't have any particular that I like more. Mm. I really don't mind. And I'm going to ask you, what do you think is lacking from the UK scene then? Um, female artists. More you, female artists. You don't think there's enough? I don't think there's enough at all. Why do you think that though? I don't know. I don't know if like there's so many talented female artists that I've seen, even just on Instagram, like up and coming and stuff. I'm just like, what? Why are you not out there yet? Mm. Like it's crazy. I feel like certain females are just not getting the opportunities, they're not getting the support, they're not getting the push. But it, it is hard, like being independent. Obviously, you know, a lot of people don't have management and stuff like that. I'm lucky enough to have management and to kind of you know have that kickstart with that. Mm. It's very hard doing it all on your own um, and knowing like how to run you know your whole artist kind of profile and stuff on your own about management and stuff but yeah i feel like there's just there's not enough female artists right now i feel like there's so many people that i've seen it's just like wow mm. like you should be doing more but i understand how hard it is do you write everything yourself yeah i do you write your write, own lyrics then yeah i write my own lyrics but i'm open to working with people Okay, okay. Other songwriters. Now, this one, do you look down at people that don't write their own lyrics? Then no, or? not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Everyone has their preference. Everyone has their preference. I don't. I don't mind working with other people. Like I want to like songwrite with other people. Mm. But so far, I've been writing my own stuff, so I'm happy doing that at the moment. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's move. And again, before we're gonna break, I just need to shout your mm. socials. Where can people find you at? Social um, media on Instagram. At Sean April Music. I'm not really on Twitter too tough. I don't really do Twitter. You need to jump on Twitter. Like I have Twitter, but I don't oh, okay. use it. I just use it to like, you know, read tweets. I I don't use it. I don't tweet. I don't mm. like that. Um, that's it really. That's it. Snapchat Miss Sean April. I'm trying to be a bit more active on there as well, like in terms of content and stuff. But that's it. To be fair, I'm not really on much else. TikTok. But um, <laughs> even, with, <laughs> even with that, I'm trying to like think of more content to put on there, and you know. Mm. Other than that, yeah, that's it really. I'm, I'm more active, I'd say I'm more on Instagram than any, any other social. Instagram, yeah? Yeah, I'm more active no on Instagram. But yeah, this Rosé's kicking in now, yeah? So it's Tipsy Talk, Wavy Wednesdays, Champagne the Conversation, Bant Before Bed, Quick Break, and come back. Jeez!
and free for love. So into you by Tamiya and on guitar Alexei. Just what my dreams are really made of Let's stay together, you and me, boy There's no one like you around Oh, baby, I really like what you've done to me I can't really explain it I'm so into you, I really like Done to me, I can't really explain it. I'm so into you. Hey, hey, huh? Hey, hey.
Yo, 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 what's going on, people? We're back right now. Yeah, tipsy talk, wavy Wednesday, champagne and conversation, bant before bed. Drunk with Jay on wave right now. Miss April's messed me up. <laughs> you messed me up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rose and that. Jeez, but yeah, we had an exclusive for the new tune. Was it a new tune or did you say it was a new tune? Or yeah, new tune, yeah. The new tune. When was that new done tune. then? Uh, a couple of months back. It's not out yet, though. Okay, plan to do a new video for it then, or? What? The one we just played? Yeah. Um, or... Probably. So I was just probably. curious. Probably, yeah. So do you prefer doing covers then, or do you like... Um, do... I like doing both, covers and original. Okay. But I feel like I've done so many covers on, like, socials and stuff that I just want to do more originals now. Hmm. Like, a lot of my content before was covers and, you know, other people's songs. So I want to do my own stuff now. Would you say you're insecure with? Um... Yeah, with like singing or in general, in general, yeah, in general, yeah. Like, what are you insecure about there? Um, could be here for hours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, sometimes, I'm, sometimes, I'm, sometimes I'm not insecure. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, yeah, like mm. I feel good today. And other days, you know, I feel like it's quite up and down. Mm. Um, yeah, I feel like it's quite up and down. Now, the reason I asked is because, again, I was talking to my friends about this. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not too sure if your relationship status, but yeah, could you be I'm with single. someone that's... Huh? I'm single. Okay, could you be with someone that's 100% truthful? Yeah. 100% truthful? Yeah. You want to know everything? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. because I'm like that. I'm very truthful to the point where some people might think I'm being too truthful. Like, or like in, I wouldn't even say I'm blunt. I'm just very upfront. But... Obviously, in a way, where I'm trying not to hurt people's feelings. I mean, mm. as a Sagittarius, it's kind of hard. Oh, are you being star signs? <laughs> I'm Sagittarius, so they say that you know Sagittarius are quite blunt and you know straight up with their mm. truthfulness and stuff like that. Would you know about all star signs and all? Not all of them. Oh, okay, then. just some, but not all of them. Because I'm a Capricorn, but I don't know about Capricorn. Then. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't really say I know. Oh, that's right. And you know, loads, 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 loads of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the reason why, because again, if you want someone that's too truthful, so if your boyfriend went out, would you want him to know that he went, yeah, I went out, I danced with this girl, I said no, da, da, da. you wouldn't know everything. Well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't like, oh, I don't know, you know. See, you have to lie a little bit. You have to lie a little bit. I guess, yeah, I guess. Mm, you have to lie a little bit. I wouldn't be like, waiting for you to be like oh yeah i've done this i've done that because but the thing is you're not gonna be true but you're not people aren't though they're, that's they're what i'm saying though, really are they mm. with things like that 
they're not going to be like, oh yeah, I'll dance with this girl and oh yeah, duh, 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 because they know what it's going to end up being. <laughs> like, you know, in the end, like arguments and stuff, it's not, there's no point. Mm. So I understand why people do. Mm. But in terms of like just other general life stuff, yeah. Okay, no, because again, like a trigger for me, I was watching, remember the show Cheaters? Yeah. I don't know why I was just watching that, innit? Mm. And I just can't do embarrassment, innit? Yeah. And I said, bro, why do you think the Cheaters UK? Yeah, that's crazy. But on big TV, I'm not doing all that on TV. Is it? <laughs> no, yeah, no way. So you said not big on TV, so you're not going like X Factor or I'm a, or yeah, Brits I, Got Talent? I used to apply for them shows a lot. Back in the day, like went for auditions and stuff. Oh, is it? I actually got through one X Factor audition. I was so gassed because I, I used to go to them like every year, and I never used to get through. And then there's one time I did get through, and they get through that after that bit there. We saw Simon. No. Oh. There's loads of stages before that, you know. People, a lot of people don't know this. How many stages? Probably like five or six. And does Bef- it- before you get to the stage and see Simon and them, like it's all in front of producers. So I didn't, I didn't audition in front of Simon and them. It was like producers that work for the show. That probably get told, oh yeah, we're looking for this, we're looking for that. They're sitting over their clipboards mm. as you're singing, they're like ticking stuff or writing. So I don't know what they're writing, but I feel away because I'm thinking you're judging me on my singing skills, but you can't sing, and you're not even the judge that's going to be there in the end. Yeah, like, what if Simon actually liked me? That's it's... what used to get to me more because, like, what if one of them actually liked me? But because you don't feel, oh, it's mad. Did they make you feel away when you saw the people that made it on? Uh, sometimes, yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a joke. Yeah, because they all have a storyline, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a lot of it, and a lot of it's for entertainment, isn't it? Mm, like Jed with that nonsense there. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it? It's true, though, isn't it? For that nonsense. Yeah, it's no, true, it's though. It's very true. Yeah. Yeah, for me, guys. I've stopped doing all of that. It's like, a... the last, or the last, like, TV show audition thing I've done was Little Mix of Search. What is that? It was Little Mix, basically on a search to make another group, the girl group. Okay. So they were like auditioned loads of people. Actually, it wasn't necessarily a girl group. It was boy bands as well. Mm. Um, but I actually got scouted for that. They came to me to do that. What, they found you on the road? No, on Instagram. Okay. And so a producer that was working for the show was like, oh, we're doing this show. And they didn't tell me what it was for, though, until that like, last minute. So Did you see any of the Little Mix girls? No, I never saw them. Okay. So I'm saying even that was in front of producers. Oh. Well, I'd done it in front of Little Mix's manager. Mm. Um. And I remember as I was doing it as well, she she started filming me on her phone. I was thinking, maybe she's sending this to their group chat or something. <laughs> oh, what do you think of this? I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, she just started filming. Right? And I was thinking, they don't really do stuff like that. Mm. She was the only one that started doing that. She just whipped out her iPhone, just filming. I was like, oh. Were you a little bit fan though? Yeah, I love little mix. Because again, I'm not too, too familiar with the story about the girl, Blackfishing. Jesse. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your opinions on that? Do you know what? It's going to sound mad, yeah? as a black person saying this, but I really don't care. Oh, is it? I really don't care. I don't know if I should or not, but I just, these things that a lot of people just get so hyped over and you know, you just see them in the comments on Instagram. I just, I don't, I don't like just do like you doing what you're doing or blackfish is not, <laughs> it's not doing anything. It's not affecting me. Like it's not, do you know what I mean? It's not, well, there's just, there's a lot of things I'm so unfazed about. Like if it's got nothing to do with me, I really don't care. You just mind your business. I just mind my business. Like you do you. But could you see where they were coming from, though? I don't know. I mean, the whole black fishing thing goes down to, like, you know, the tanning mm. and stuff like that. But people have been doing tanning for years. Big facts. Like, it is what it is. Mm. Like, sometimes, I can't lie, I have to, like, read comments and stuff on, like, Shade Bar and then kind of page. And I'm just, like, looking at people writing stuff in the comments. Like, you don't just get a grip, man. Like, mm. some things, it's just, it is what it is. Mm. Some people just get themselves so worked up as if they know the people personally. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. I, just, I mind my business with that stuff. I'm just like, oh, it don't faze me. It's nothing to do with me, so I really don't care. Have you been blackfish before? Have I ever? Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, guys, I'm a blackfish you before? No. What, catfish? No. Catfish? Not as far as I know. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, but I've never found out, no. We were talking about, about crypto. Are you into crypto then? No, I'm not into that. No. Nothing at all? There's a lot of people into that, but I'm not into it. I wouldn't even know where to start. Neither do That's I. just numbers to me. I don't even I don't know <laughs> them graphs and yeah, I don't get I don't understand that. About modeling, you ever thought about doing like modeling crew? Yeah, I used to do a little bit of it back in the day, like agency stuff. Mm. Where I'd like go to like test shoots and things like that. But even after that I actually found out it was a scam. <laughs> so wow. Like, um, I think my mum paid for something for like my photos or something like that. Oh, do you know what I find? Would the guy run for the pictures? 
that but honestly i was so young i was probably like 40 i honestly do not remember the like full story but all i know is that in the end it was a scam um something to do with the pictures yeah so basically what we paid for isn't what we was paying for if that mm. makes sense like what they said we was paying for it wasn't for that they're just trying to take people's money so what we paid for to get we didn't receive basically so you, as far as i remember it was just so long ago yeah you ran up with the my mom more dealt with that kind of side of things that was, i just knew it was a scam <laughs> i'm not going back next week to do no shoots like it's that kind of vibe Mm-mm. yeah no, mad. i hear that i hear that so again so in terms of music do you, do you have to be in a certain space to write music then or can you write music in, um, in like, general i do prefer to be at home writing okay i feel like more comes to me easier and quicker um mm. i'm trying to like be better at being in a studio and just come out of things really quickly but i feel like i'm more yeah i find it a lot easier at home you know, i'm in my own space it's quiet i don't know why but that's yeah i just work better that way but i also do want to try and work on obviously in studio because you know i'm gonna have many more sessions in the future where i've got to come up with things there and then mm. and i won't have time to go home and do it at home and then come back so but yeah i find it a lot easier at home is there the artists out there that people wouldn't think you like but you do like because for me, like, I'm a big Queen fan and ABBA. Mm. Um, oh, None at all, no? I think I'm a spot. I can't even think. <laughs> there probably is, you know. There's probably many people. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I'd say people like James Blunt, and, but who don't like James Blunt? And people like that. You know them classics back in the I day? Like, James, but... oh, okay, well, fair <laughs> <laughs> that's one then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know who he is, but I've just never heard a song of him before. Oh, um, is he even changed that song? Is, but you know that one that goes, it's true. Is it? Maybe, so yeah, you managed to say, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that one. Not tune. Would you ever do busking? I would, you know. I've just never you did it? I would, but I've never tried. Hey, you're brave. I yeah, I feel it, like man. I'd be so nervous, though, because. In the yeah, cold as well. Yeah, things like that. It's just like. Yeah, I wouldn't do it for the money, I'd do it because I enjoy it. Okay. I wouldn't like expect people to be putting coins. I wouldn't expect it of people, but that's that. That is what it's about, really, isn't it? Though. But like, like people walking past, like saying negative, wouldn't put you off. Like, oh, pack it in, love. You don't hear that. I don't. Think, <laughs> that sound big headed, but I don't think people will say that. Okay. Personally, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't think people would say that. Maybe some people mm. might, but I don't. I don't know. Right, well, this part of the show is called Drunken Dilemmas, so mm. we need a drunk story from you. A drunk story? Yeah, man. And you're from South, so I know you definitely got a drunk story. So me being drunk? Mm-hmm. Do you know what? I don't drink much, but there was one time I went to a friend's birthday and I got so drunk, I was combing her braids. What were you drinking? I can't remember, just cocktails, shots, and I had some other girl shots, she didn't want them, so I was just backing everyone's shots that they didn't want. Is that you, yeah? It was then, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. But yeah, I started. I did. I did even. Obviously, it was like a group of friends and stuff. But I didn't know her personally. We just, you know, when you kind of go to like your friends' birthdays and you meet their friends, kind of things. So I didn't know her, but I just, I start. I actually have a video on my phone. But I started combing her her braids. Mm. She had braids, and I'm brushing it with a comb. <laughs> and she's just letting me drag her. Her head's just all dragging about. <laughs> yeah, that's the only drunk story I have. You know? I Is it? I don't really drink heavy like. Yeah, drunk oh, so you're the sober friend? Yeah. Okay. I'm the sober friend that looks after everyone. Okay. I was trying to look after our bags. Yeah. Okay. Or just looks after them in general. Is it? Which can be annoying sometimes because I feel like then I can't enjoy myself because I'm looking, not saying I don't want to look out for my friends, of course I do, mm. but to the point where like, if it wasn't for me, how are you actually getting home tonight? Do you know what I mean? I've always wondered that from the girls' perspective, like, for example, say if your friend meets a guy mm. and she was to take the guy home, yeah. but you've arrived there with your friend, yeah. do you let her go with that guy or do you... No, I'm definitely talking her out of that. Oh, is it? 100%. Okay. I'm definitely talking her out of that. And there's been a situation where the guys got angry at you before? Oh, yeah, not really. Oh, is it? I'm just thinking of what I'd probably do. Oh, okay, then. But I'd, yeah, no. I could, no, I couldn't just go home and just let no way. Mm. I'd be going crazy at home, like thinking, oh, like I hope nothing's going wrong. Or do you know what I mean? Like, especially when you're drunk, mm. people take advantage, and Big you facts. don't know what you're doing. You wake up the next day, and what's going on? It's long, mm. and then they come at you. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? No. Are you familiar with the whole Trevor Scott situation? 
what the festival yeah. yeah that's crazy I just know your opinion as a performer yourself that like, who's to blame for that situation then definitely him you think so 100% him, Why is it? the stewards the security because I feel like as an artist obviously like it's a big festival you can't see everyone and everything that's going on in every second but there's there's videos you know circling around of the girl saying people like someone's basically dying in mm. the crowd and i think it was the, the cameraman and you're not doing nothing about it what is that then, someone is coming up to you and saying someone is dying in the crowd and you're just brushing it off oh so no, no see you're performing at wireless next year mm. which will happen yeah 100 put out there <laughs> and then everyone rushes in manifest it <laughs> everyone rushes the barricade mm. everyone rushes to do it and people start like can you blame you can't really blame yourself though isn't it I mean, yeah, I can't blame myself for that, but I'm going to try and do something about it. There's going to be no show if people are acting mad. I don't care. Mm. Because then look now, everything that's happened, look at what's going on with him now. He's getting sued. He's getting, you know, the backlash. And it's, it's not like you're literally, you've got fans that are coming to support you and have a good time. Mm. And it's turning into deaths. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. Like he has to live with that for the rest of his life. I couldn't live with that. Too if that was you, you'll give up music then forever. I, I don't think it could be the same. See, I'm a bit tricky. I'm a bit older because again, I grew up watching Michael Jackson, innit? Mm. And his performances, people were passing out. Yeah. And he didn't even he didn't even jump on the mic yet. He just stood up, and then people were passing out Michael Jackson. Yeah. Too. But I think that's. I feel like isn't that more because they're big fans of them and people just you know I've, yeah, I've heard yeah. of people doing that. But in terms of where like it's hot, you know, people are rushing people, people can't breathe, the crowd's moving crazy. If I can see stuff like that going on. Obviously, mm. if you can't see, you can't see. You never knew it happened. But if people come up to you and, you know, alarming you about it, you you know, Adele does it. She stops the show and someone faints. She's like, no, everyone stop. We're stopping the show. Like, you know, you try and, I don't know, as an artist, you, you, you want to look out for your, your fans and your supporters and people that are coming to watch you and have a good time. I'm not going to be going home seeing tweets that someone died mm. because I didn't, do you know what I mean? Or bare people died. There's a lot of people. Have you been to a festival before? Uh, yeah, I'm into white, I'm not sure what festivals I've been to. I can't even remember. I haven't been to white this year, though. I've never been to a festival, innit? I've never been to white. But I always want to go, but my friend put me off going. Mm. He said that one time he went to a festival, I think it was in Reading, innit? And like, he couldn't go to the toilet, so he peed in the cup, innit? Mm. And he just threw it in the air, innit? And then he watched it land on some girl's head, innit? That's what I, I'm genuinely serious. That's what you said. Yeah. Wow. And the people who said, way and then it hit some girl's head. That's, way. Oh, <laughs> that's, crazy. that's what put me on going festivals, you know. Yeah, no, first, yeah, festivals are mad. I feel like festivals, you have to be prepared for anything to happen. Because he said, like, they got some good, they got a good place to see the performances, yeah. but they didn't want to move, isn't it? Yeah. And he needed to go to the toilet badly, innit? So he just peed in the cup and you, yeah. I That's mean, peeing in a cup or whatever, fair enough, but throwing it? Can't you just put it on the ground? I'd rather step in it than it go in my head. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, man. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, girl, that's trauma. That must have ruined the whole yeah. thing. It must have smelled of pee the whole oh, day. That's horrible, man. <laughs> no, that's horrible. That's so horrible. That's horrible. So what's some DM saying then, Mrs? Is that a lot of music opportunities then, or just inappropriate uh, stuff then? Or... <laughs> is it? A bit of both, to be honest. I always want to see it from a female perspective in terms of music, isn't it? Mm. That's why. Yeah, I've got like, you know, people asking for collaborations and then you've got people just coming and putting the eyes emoji. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> just sending me the eyes emoji. What do I do now? Well, that's like, the approach now. Yeah. That's Leave no saying. hello, Miss Annette. Nothing. Just eyes emoji. Literally. Or snap. Snap question mark. <laughs> Oh, I just clocked right. on. I don't have Snapchat in it, so I just oh, clocked yeah. on in it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's amazing now. Why Snap though? Is that? I don't know. They probably ask for Snap before the number. Maybe it's more like a. It's, mm. Snap is quite intimate, isn't it? Still, I mm. feel like like on chats and stuff, especially on. Obviously, you don't have Snapchat, but you can do the whole delete the message after twenty four hours. Oh thing. no, ever, no case. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. So I feel like before they ask for the number, if they don't want to ask for the number, they ask for Snap because it's kind of the same thing. Mm. So yeah. You got a song F Boys, yeah. Mm. Can you tell for S Boy from the from the beginning? Yeah, probably. So what's the red flag for you then? Just like even in the way you talk about women and stuff, like as if they're objects or they're just yeah they're just a fling they're just a ting or whatever you know guys say and stuff it's just like you just know when they're not serious 
Girls do it as well? Yeah, girls do it as well. I'm not saying girls don't. Girls definitely do it as well. But uh, yeah, I feel like there's many red flags for guys where you just know they're not serious. They're not They're not going to be serious with you. You're just something else to them. You're just another, you know, onto the next. Well, a guy can grow though. Yeah, he can grow. But when do they say men start actually growing? 45, 47 years old? Is it? On Google. Hey, so all the <laughs> albums growing here. Hey, pressure. <laughs> hey. Well, black men don't cheat anyway. <laughs> I feel like I feel like anyone anyone can cheat. Anyone can cheat. Yeah. But it's if you really it's if you want to. Black boys cheat, not black men. There's a difference. But I'm mm. curious, do you ever thought about doing a remix of that song then? Like I haven't, no. Okay. The, I didn't write that song. Oh, is it? Another artist called August 12th wrote that song that I was working with closely at the time. Um we we worked closely together, like we used to well, he used to write my songs back then. I was I was about like 1819. Um, so yeah, he actually wrote that. Okay. Um, and then we put it out because I paid for video and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that was when I was like, I didn't have no management or anything like that. I was just independent. He was working close together. He's a songwriter, so yeah. So you happy being independent or do you want to be signed then? Um, I'm happy being independent, you know. Okay. I feel like, I feel like it's easier to find yourself more being independent. I feel like being chucked into labels straight away, they want you to do this, look like this, be like this, make this music. It's, it's a lot. Mm. When you're coming onto the scene as a new artist, like you're still finding yourself. Mm. And then, yeah, I feel like if you're just chucked into that whole thing of being in the labels, like halfway down the line, you're like, wow, this ain't even the music I want to be making. Mm. Well, I don't want to look like this. This ain't my style or this ain't, you know. Do you think you've got your own unique style then? Or do you think there's someone like that's copying you then? Or? Like as anyone that's copying me, okay. To be honest, I don't feel I feel like my style, as in like how I look, is quite just I feel like there's I wouldn't say I'm necessarily unique. Mm. Um, I can be girly, I can be tomboy, that's about it. It's, a lot of people could be like that, so when you say there's nothing unique about it, really, mm. to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to know, do you think, do you think like any news that happens in the US matters over here? Um, I feel like people more take the news seriously over here if it's got to do with race Elaborate. And, and things to do with like, you know, black people, you know, the police and all them kind of things that are going on. And mm. I think people in the UK more take that more seriously than any other type of news over there. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like obviously, you know, even things like people going missing in America and stuff, the same thing happens here as well. Maybe not as much. But I feel like the UK are proper on it when it's anything to do with race and stuff, which is obviously understandable. Mm. It's a bit crazy how a lot of kids are going missing these days, yeah, isn't it? it's mad. Very, 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 very mad. Do you see the reason why, though? Like, when you're about, do you see like a lot of kids on the road and you think like, well, where's your parents going? I don't, be? you know. Okay. I don't. I, I see it in shopping centres and stuff. Just mm. Kids just wandering. I'm just like, or like, I, was, I actually saw on the street the other day, actually, on my way home from work, there was a lady on the phone talking and her, probably must have been about three or four years old just walking behind them like you're not even looking behind you to see if your kid is still there mm. like you know sometimes you think i could take your kid right now you won't even know mm. like it's crazy things like that yeah i see sometimes mm. but it's that's all it takes is a few seconds for you not to be paying attention and that, your child is gone when you was your parents like protective then yeah very very okay they're actually <laughs> there's one story of um i think it was peacocks that shot that used to be, it's yeah. Like about, is it about? I remember but peacocks, yeah. But yeah, um, I basically went missing for a few seconds in the shop. But as a child, I used to wander off quite a lot. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know I used to go, what I used to do, I just used to wander off a lot. And one time in peacocks, like I said, it only takes one second. So obviously, my mum, my dad wasn't obviously, you know, hmm. taking any notice for that few seconds. But yeah, my dad like got to obviously they saw I wasn't there. My dad went to the front of the shop and was like, no one's effing leaving this shot until my, Is it? my daughter, yeah. And he was actually standing there with his arms like spread out across the two front doors so no, like, no one could leave. Um, and in the end, where was I? In the room. Under the clothes. What, hiding? <laughs> in the rolls, yeah, under the rolls, in the clothes. You got beats, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely got in trouble. That, hey. that, that, my mom said that just caused a whole commotion in the shop. And, yeah. yeah, I can imagine it. You're... Yeah, I must have been like, four or five Mm-mm. but the fact that i was just chilling on when they when they started looking obviously through the clothes i was just chilling there why am i on the clothes yeah i don't know 
Were you the bad sister? No. Me and my sister are both well behaved. Is it? Yeah. yeah. We're 11 years apart. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. We just used to argue a lot when I got to a certain age. Obviously. Don't go in my room and touch my stuff. That's about it. Were you broom private? Yeah. Okay, I hear that. I hear that. But yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't a naughty child. You know? I was very, very, very chilled. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't be saying I don't remember any stories of me being really naughty or anything like that. So. You can't remember the worst thing you've done? No. You become forgiveness? Um, yeah, I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm learning to forgive more for myself, not for you. Not, or not for the other person. So like, if someone's done you dirty, you won't forgive them yet? Yeah, like I'll find time to forgive you. I won't mm. forget. I'll find time to forgive you, but I'm forgiving you for myself because I don't like to hold on to stuff, mm. if that makes sense. So I'm not, it's not even like I'm doing it for you necessarily, I'm doing it for myself. Like if I feel like I'm able to forgive you, that will just make things easier for me. Mm. Do you okay, know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm not holding on to grudges. Like imagine just you're going through life, bare people you're not forgiven. That's just bare people you're just not, do you know what I mean? It's Stress. Just, it's long. I'd rather not do that. So, you know, never forget, but I'll forgive. Depending on what it is, I guess. Would you remember the worst thing someone's done to you? Mm, I'd say probably cheating was the most worst thing. We caught him? Never necessarily caught him, no, but he had girls calling me while I'm at work talking about who are you? Calling you? Yeah. What, the work phone? Calling, calling me, calling my phone. Oh, I thought they were calling your work phone. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, it's oh. just as bad. I was at work. This is when I had a waitressing job as well. And I was just like in the back, like, you know, loading stuff in the dishwasher and stuff. My phone starts ringing. I don't usually answer my phone on shifts as well, well back then in that job. Mm. But for some reason, I answered it that day. And it was a number I never knew. And I answered. And he's like, oh, who are you? And I was like, oh, no, who are you? <laughs> like, yeah, that day was mad. That day, that just, yeah. I was and what did he say? For the whole day, just lying, yeah, as they do. Mm. As they do, just lying. Oh, I don't know her. Da, da, da. But apparently I wasn't the only girl, and even was she. Okay. So there was many. Yeah, this is a black boy. Mixed race. Go. Oh. <laughs> Mixed race, nice eyes, that vibe. <laughs> that vibe. So what country would you like to travel to then? Would I like to travel to? Yeah. Um... I'd definitely love to go back to the Caribbean, like Barbados. I've been to Jamaica. I went to Jamaica when I was younger. I went to Jamaica in 2017 again. Mm. And yeah, I want to do like Barbados, Trinidad, Miami, mm. Dubai. I definitely want to go to Dubai. I'm scared of going to Dubai. Why? Too strict, Tom. Yeah, true. No, master, I'll just get too drunk and get nicked out there. Yeah, banged true. up abroad. It's true. <laughs> so I'm telling you, I'm so scared of going to Dubai, man. It's true. I just yeah. know I just do some edibles and stuff, and some crazy like and some cheap. Yeah. And then just get nicked out there. <laughs> I feel like if you do your research, though, going to countries like that, you're good. Yeah, but my thing is, I like to test the boundaries. Like, notice mm. like you can't go behind when you're on this point. Do you know yeah. this, innit? I just like put my toe there, get drunk, and that's that. a you problem. That's what I'm saying. It's a massive me yeah. problem. I know, I know. Definitely, yeah, I'm scared of going to Dubai, though. But I, like, I love to go to Dubai. Yeah, I'd love to. Definitely on my bucket list. It's just, it just seems like vibes out there, innit? Yeah. Like, just, yeah, man. It's such a big place. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. cool. But I think most of all, Caribbean and America again. Mm. But Caribbean always. Again, if I go to Jamaica, I won't come back. Mm. I think if I go, yeah, I know if I go to Jamaica, I won't come back. That's so nice. Like, I remember just being there and thinking, like, this actually exists. That's not even that. That's Jamaican girl's my weakness, isn't it? So, oh, really? Yeah, it's my weakness. Oh, wow. My kryptonite. Okay. So just, That's yeah, interesting. I'll just, sleep, I'll just live out there. <laughs> Swear down. Yeah, no, I'll sell my, yeah. like, my return ticket. You'll have fun out there, definitely. Oh, no, I'll definitely have fun. Definitely, especially the parties and stuff, the night parties. <laughs> yeah, the yardy parties. And... Is that we into yardy parties then, yeah? Not even. No. Seriously? Not even. Back in the day, yeah, when I was younger, but not now. So you into now I then? feel like that ship has definitely fell, um, sailed. What am I into now? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, what's your peace? What's your heaven then, man? Like, you can't just stay indoors all day, innit? it? <sighs> Probably food. Seriously? Going out to eat and stuff. Nando's? I love Nando's. Okay. Who doesn't love Nando's? Miss, do you know how much people have come to the station and say, like, you take me Nando's to the day? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fussy person. You know? I'm very... I'm so very... the first day a guy takes you Nando's, you're cool that? I'm easy. Okay. I'm very easy. What about Mollies? I'll still eat it. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> See, yeah. 
I like down to earth. I yeah, like that. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fussy. You know, like it. It really depends. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's nice if they do the whole upscale thing, but I'm not. I'm not fussed if it's you know because it's still like it's still food. It's still something I like. You know, if you're thinking of somewhere that. I, or if you say, you know, somewhere that I don't like, I'll be honest, I don't really eat that food. So no soup bays with Gantobi I really don't mind. Okay. I'm really not a fussy person. I'm so down to earth with stuff like that. Like, even if you just went fish and chip shop and just sat somewhere and spoke, I really don't. I really don't. I'm not fussed. That's good, mum. Yeah, man, I'm humble, right here. <laughs> I like that. That's good, mum. Food is food, do you know what I mean? But you say that, miss, but the amount of headaches I get. Really? 100%. I don't feel like dates always have to be such a big thing. It doesn't have to be like just, ext- it doesn't always have to be extravagant. Yeah, but you know what girls like these days, it's all for the gram now, isn't it? Yeah, true. It's all for the gram and the WhatsApp group, the messages and yeah. that rubbish there, isn't it? Yeah, you took me here. You he, he went to go half yeah, and that rubbish the there. Image and I stuff had one like cocktail, that. I was still hungry, my belly's rumbling and that. <laughs> I don't know. People take me to go Uber home and get bus and that rubbish there. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I think the one thing for me is that you've got to have some sort of direction. Like, you, you can't just always be, oh, I don't mind. Well, where do you want to go? Oh, I don't mind. Okay. Well, you, you choose, you choose. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Plan it. You've had a bad date before? No, I haven't actually. Never? Never been on a bad date. That's good. To be honest. Um, but yeah, I'd say just having direction. Mm. If you don't have direction, that's that's a pet peeve of mine, actually. So anything you get off your chest, let the people know then? Do I have anything to get off my chest, to Nothing be honest? Nothing at all, no. We're going to put out there, we're going to wireless next year. Yeah, 100%. Rolling Loud next year. Yeah, all of them. All Coachella's festivals. next year. All festivals. The feature of Beyonce next year as well. Yep. Was it the two twins? What, Chloe, Chloe and Halle, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yep, all of them, everyone. Starting yep. Broadway as well. Yeah, everyone. You're really pantomime. You do that Broadway, innit? Um, I do theatre stuff, yeah. I would actually. Is it, yeah? Yeah, I would love to, but a lot of them theatre stuff are just belty, innit? Like, just belt. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm a belter. I sing oh, very soft oh, and okay, yeah, yeah. quiet. Like, I even speak kind of quiet. So I just. Yeah, I don't know about that belt and stuff, but I'd love to do fitter stuff. What's your stance on the whole LGBT community? Um, do you? Same. As long as everyone's happy, I don't see what the issue is. That so many people are just fussed about other people's lives. Mm. Like, why does it bother people so much? I don't understand. Obviously, everyone has their views. Like, even like religions and stuff, everyone has their views on that, with like their religion and what not and what they think is right and not right but I just feel like if you're happy I just I really couldn't care less what the next person next to me is doing yeah that's like me like I'm at that stage where there's four things I definitely don't debate about mm. race religion Tupac and Prince I mean sorry <laughs> no Tupac and Biggie Michael Jackson Prince yeah I just don't get involved in yeah. the debates in there yeah. what about them climate protesters yeah that's I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you're doing too much now <laughs> like you're actually doing too much that's that's one thing actually I'd say I would would be rowing about a bit like have you caught up in that situation yet like you some of them like blocks the train no, and that oh, I haven't kidding. but I've seen videos online of like you know a woman trying to get to school with her son and you're sitting in front of the car she's coming next week actually really yeah she's coming next week the no Ranger really? woman yeah, yeah, yeah she's coming next week still yeah Tell yeah I said yeah. hello man I rate that because <laughs> she was going off and I got off as well yeah no that's crazy man you can't be doing that you like mean, people generally have places to go like you're you're making me late for work now now it's a problem on your free day in this whole free world, you're gonna sit in the middle of the road in the cold. I feel like there's so many other ways for these climate protesters to do things, though. Mm. You don't have to sit in the road and stop people from, you know, going about their business and their day. Like, that's ridiculous. So and what, then if they try and run you over now, it's like, oh, run me over. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what? What caused matters to you then? Um, I would say the race. The race thing, I feel like. Oh, Black Lives Matter? Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Did you go protesting when that happened? No, I didn't, you know. Okay. I didn't, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I just thought, it's just one of them things. I feel like, it's honestly, I don't think it's ever going to change, which is sad. No, of course not. There's always going to be that one person. Yeah, of course. That's No matter what we do, no matter how many protests and marches and all that kind of stuff, personally, I don't feel like they do anything. Mm, uh, same. I don't feel, I, that's why I don't participate. Me walking Same. this 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 um march and you know the big banners and the signs and shouting my head off, it's not going to change anything. Like we're in a country where this it's not going to change anything. It's sad, but it's just it's. I feel like it's just the way of life. We're just gonna have to live live like how it is. Are you happy in England? I'm all right, content. Mm. Can't really complain too much. As a female, have you been racially abused? Though? Um, 
probably, you know, but not anything I can remember to be like, oh yeah, it's a big story. Oh, okay. But probably on like nights out, you know, like drunk people and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I haven't like, not nothing I can tell you a big story about anyway. Mm. So, yeah. I hear that. Really. So, we talked about Wireless next year, mm. Coachella, the future of Beyonce, anything else? Feature of Chris Brown. Oh, well, documentary, you ever thought about doing a documentary about yourself? Like a mini I've never thought about that. Yeah, well, I would well. love to. I'd love to do like a day in life. Uh -huh. Like while doing music and stuff, like, you know, sessions and sessions mm. and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I haven't thought about doing proper documentaries and stuff. Yeah. Day in life is cool. Well, I would love to do it. Definitely. It's, it's, it's interesting to see the, like I feel like on Instagram, especially when I put out music content, mm. I see that a lot more people interact with that kind of stuff. Mm. So I feel like day in the life or stuff like that would people be interested in it. Mm. That's why I feel like I get the most interaction on socials than just posting a picture, an everyday picture. Again, I asked this before, just to double checking. You sure don't want a Christmas present for no one then? You don't want nothing in general? I think nothing major that I even want this year, you know? I feel like there's been so many years that have just gone by now where I've just, I've said, yeah, I want this, I want this, got it, and now there's nothing I can mm. think of. What New Year's resolution? Do you want that yet? Probably get back in gym. Is it? You're fine. Yeah, but I still want to, still want to just stick to that sort of routine of working out, being fit, eating healthy. I feel like I've fallen off quite a lot. I've just been eating crazy stuff. Miss, that's good, man. Guys, I know, I know the, you, need, you need the balance. The parasitic thing's gone out the window, man. We're getting <laughs> just skinny girls no more, man. That's back in the nineties, man. What me? No, but even that, just the tone. Uh, it's, it's winter like, time, man. You don't need to wait. When the carnival comes when, out, then yeah. Winter time is the best time to do the working out, though, because then when summer comes, you're ready. Yeah. Mm. Well, personally. Yeah, but then you get a bit fat on Valentine's. You could get loads of chocolate, that, don't it? Oh, I ain't got worried about that. I'm single anyway. You say that now, but pretty changed it. Yeah, diet. <laughs> <laughs> what about carnival? You a big carnival person? Carnival, yeah. yeah, I used to be back in the day, but it's so crowded now, man. I can't, I can't do that. Anymore. Even better, I can't, nah, man. you might meet your soulmate there. Yeah, maybe, but it's too much for me now. Like, it's hopefully coming back next year. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's because I'm small, and to me, it's just <laughs> like it's just overcrowding. People pushing you, stepping on you, and you're getting drunk. You know, you get to get them silly guys and stuff that are just doing a madness and silly boys. Yeah, well, both <laughs> silly guys, silly boys. There's Big men that just act silly there, and it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah, they just act silly. I know we're all here for a good time, but come on, man. Like you, act, when you start doing silly stuff, you actually start ruining it for people. Mm. And I haven't been back since. What year did last go? You, you can remember? Um, twenty, twenty seven, twenty sixteen. Mm. It was the last time I went carnival. Very long time. Yeah, 2016, very, very long time. There's been years where I've considered it, but I'm just like, no, I'm not going through that crowd and all that again, man. It is. And the train journeys and you're sweating and no. Uh, yeah, that's the new part I don't like, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's too much. You just, so you just preview, you just pre on Instagram yeah, then, yeah? I just enjoy it that way. <laughs> I, just, I still enjoy it for people's stories. Like, I don't have to actually be there. I'm mm, good. I hear that. But yeah, shout out to socials before we leave, isn't it? So I'm on Instagram at Sean April Music, um, Snapchat, Miss Sean April, and yeah. That's why I'm most active. Tipsy talk, wave Wednesday, champagne conversation, bank before bed. Here we go. Cheers. <laughs>